report you'll only see on ABC 17 News at 6 tonight. For the first time, a former employee of the Missouri's, uh, Missouri's Department of Social Services call center is speaking out about the ongoing problems. Yeah, we've been telling you for months, about the past two months, about the department's inability to process Medicaid benefits, in some cases leaving people without help for more than six months. The department says it's been fixing a glitch as it transitions to a modern computer system. It also blames the call center it contracts with for the mess. In a story you'll only see on ABC 17 tonight, Ashley Strohmeyer spoke to a woman who was employed at Young Williams. That's the company that runs the call center for more than a year. Ashley, she actually quit her job and took a pay cut just to get away from all the stress of the call center, huh? Marissa and Joey, she told me today she could not handle the stress of the environment at Young Williams any longer. She says customers cursed her, made death threats, and even threatened suicide if she did not help them. Still, she says despite the pressure the call center is under, she says they're only doing what they were told. The former employee did not want to be identified, but she had a lot to say. The woman says call takers expected to deal with upset Medicaid recipients, and they had scripted answers for them. But she says the call center is not to blame for people not getting signed up for Medicaid. You're, you're not helping anybody. They tell you that we're, you're there to help them, but you're really not. You're sending emails. You're answering their call and sending an email. You're, I mean, it's basically you're a receptionist. She says if anyone should be blamed, it should be the Department of Social Services. They're the ones that have to process it and make the decisions on what's going on. And even update your phone number. If you want to change your phone number, we have to send an email, and it could be up to 10 business days before it's in the system. The call center doesn't deal with any of the paperwork, they don't make eligibility decisions, and are not adding information to cases. Do you think it needs to be there? Because it doesn't sound like they are helping people. I think the idea of it at first was a good idea because it was, again, to answer the call so that the workers could spend more time working on the cases. But if the workers aren't working on the cases, then it's not really doing anything. Now, I did check in with DSS today about the call center. The department says the rate of abandoned calls is decreasing, but the information it sent was only good through the 15th of last month. The director, Brian Kincaid, told me personally at a hearing in mid-October he expects the kinks to be worked out by December 1st. Ashley, thank you. And something else we found out today is the call center is located in Jefferson City. It's also an unmarked building. They say the reason for this is because of the threats nearly 70 workers receive on almost a daily basis there.